In the book of 1 John chapter 4 verse 1, 1 John chapter 4 verse 1, the Bible says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, spirit of jumping from one church to the another because of my problems. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Spirit of jumping from one church to the another because of my problems. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Jumping spirits from one church to another in my life. Jump out and die. Jump out and die. Jumping spirit from one church to another in my life. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Jumping spirits from one church to another because of my problems. Jump out and die. Jump out and die. In the name of Jesus. Jumping spirits from one church to another because of my problems. Jump out and die. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's topic is visiting a pastor dream many. Visiting a pastor dream many. Did you see yourself visiting a particular pastor a particular man of God in your dream, a popular man of God, a false prophet, a stranger, a man of God you don't know, or you saw a man of God praying for you, or you saw yourself pray for people in the dream, or you just saw a man of God conducting deliverance for you. We are going to tell you the biblical interpretation and symbolism of this divine revelation. Visiting a pastor is considered a good woman. Other ministry depends largely on the type of pastor you are meeting in the dream. When you visit a pastor in a dream, it reveals your desire to see a pastor in order to pray for you. Perhaps you have some problems eating you badly and now you are seeking or expressing your problems to your pastor to pray for you. In the other way around, when you see yourself visiting a pastor or visiting a popular man of God, a servant of God in that dream, God can use that dream to tell you that it's time for you to meet a man of God to pray for you and to intervene in your life. For example, when you visit a pastor in a dream, it might be telling you that you need someone under God's anointing to deliver you from that present problems, either to guide you, either to direct you, either to exhort you, either to you know instruct you on some certain things in regard to your life. In James chapter 5, verse 14 to 16, James chapter 5, verse 14 to 16, the Bible says, if you are sick, or in a distressed situation, call on the elder of the church to pray for you and to anoint you immediately. Perhaps if the pastor you intend visiting in the dream or you are visiting in the dreams, a popular man of God, it could be a sign that God is connecting you to his ministry. God is connecting you to this servant of God, either to bless you, either, you know, either to conduct deliverance for you, either to instruct you, to counsel you for some certain things. But when you see yourself visiting a pastor, you have to be very mindful of the type of spirit behind that pastor. You could end up, you know, meeting the wrong man of God for your problems. So if you think that you are meeting the right man of God in that dream, and you feel that the man of God, you can, the man of God is accessible. So if you have that kind of faith, you can make up that plans now to visit or worship in his ministry. To visit a pastor in the dream could also be a sign from God for you to attach yourself to a good prophet to pray for you you know to intervene in your life and i also want you to know this before you can choose a man of god to be praying for you you must make sure he doesn't have the characteristics of a false prophet this is a very important announcement information for everyone before you can choose a man of god to be praying for you to be standing in god for you spiritually you must make sure this pastor doesn't have the characteristics of his false prophet in him or this type of prophet is giving you fearful, scary revelation that will prompt you to drop your money, either to deceive you or to give you false teachings. If any of these false prophets fall into these categories, you need to carry your Bible, flee away from the office of this false prophet. They are deceptive. They want to drain you. For example, when you visit a pastor in the dream, in some cases, at this point, you may be craving for someone that will give you counsel or some things bothering you in life. It could be in the areas of marital counsel, financial counsel, career counsel, and all that. 
having this type of dream frequently could also reveal that you need to move more closer to God. You need to build that relationship with God. The pastor you are visiting could also be, represent an angel of God, the ambassador of Christ. So such a dream could also appear that you have lost access or connection to God. So you are meeting the Holy Spirit to connect, to reconnect yourself, you know, to rededicate your life to God, to surrender everything, you know. It could also be a time for you to, you know, to, you know, to start going to church, you know, start to have a new, you know, new identity with Christ, you know. When you meet a visit a man of God, it could also be a sign that God is trying to, you know, give you a mentor that will guide you in the ministry as you are being called into the work of God. However, if that pastor you visited in that dream is your present pastor in your local church, then it may appear that you are enjoying his ministration and you are doing everything possible to connect more to his overflowing anointing and grace. And if you discover you can't just be in a, in a church where you are not enjoying the ministration of that prophet or, what the, or, the, or, the, or, the, or the activity you know, that goes on in that ministration so you need to hook yourself and when you find yourself in that ministry means that um, you, you you god is blessing you you are growing physically and spiritually in other way if you discover that you have lost your faith you have lost that connection with god you have lost that power you have no power your spiritual growth is your spiritual power is down you don't go to church your prayer life is zero your bible study life is zero so to meet a pastor in this area signify that you need a process to meet a pastor in this instance signifies a need to build your faith and your trust in the Lord for your miracle. So when you discover you have lost everything, your connection, this could be a time for you to reconnect yourself back to the Almighty God. He's waiting for you, you know, to take you in and uh, to give you a new beginning. Also, when you see yourself cleaning your pastor's office, like table, like chairs and all that surroundings in the, your pastor's office, it may also reflect your desire to make your pastor recognize you, just to recognize you, just to be familiarized with you, just to know you as a hardworking person in the ministry, just like an high service, the way other people are doing today. If in your own case, you met a pastor in that dream who appears to be a false prophet, you don't need to be afraid, you don't need to be worried, but you just need to be mindful of the prophet or the type of prophet you meet for help because some of them might have that desire to deceive you with false teaching, with scary revelation, you know, that will force you to sow a seed. Before you can meet any man of God or any prophet, be led specifically by the Holy Spirit. Also, if you are a woman who is very careless about dressing, whose desire is to attract pastor's attention, you must repent from that sin today. In conclusion, meeting or visiting a pastor in the dream could also indicate that there is hope for you. And it appears that the solution of your problem has come. But if the Lord is leading you to the man of God, and you are very sure that the Holy Spirit is leading you to his ministry, make sure you find your way to his ministry. Or to under, you know, if you cannot meet him, if you cannot go to his ministry because of distance, you can just hook on to that ministry through the online ministration. If you are distant away, because in God's blessings, there's no barriers. So if you have been dreaming about visiting a pastor, the instruction, read the following Bible verses, James chapter 5 verse 14 to 16, the Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 18, Amos chapter 7 verse 7, 2 Corinthians chapter 20 verse 20, Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 16, and lastly, Matthew chapter 7 verse 15. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, O oh God my Father, make a haste to show me my prophet in the name of Jesus. O oh God my Father, make a haste to show me my prophet. Make a haste to show me my prophet in the name of Jesus. O oh God, my Father, make a haste to show me my prophet in Jesus' name. Say, I come against every trap of the false prophet in my life. In the name of Jesus, I come against every trap of the false prophet in my life. I come against every trap of the false prophet in my life. In Jesus' name. Say, Holy Spirit, let the anointing of your servant do wonders in my life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, let the anointing of your servant do wonders in my life. Let the anointing of your servant, let the grace of your servant do wonders in my life and destiny in Jesus' name. Say, Father, let every pending prophecy in my life begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. Father, let every pending prophecy in my life begin to manifest in Jesus' name. Do this last prayer point. Say, Spirit of truth and discernment, I am available. Fall upon me. 
in the name of Jesus, spirit of truth and discernment, I am available. Fall upon me now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. Once again, it's Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.